Good morning, you guys. <laughs> Today is Monday, the 8th of January, eight days in. Um, I just came back from dropping the kids off to school. It is exactly 10 a.m. right now. Where is my coffee pot? Yeah, I finished dropping the kids off to school. And, oh, got my Maxwell house. <laughs> Finally got my coffee pods. I'm gonna use my Keurig. Yeah, so I dropped the kids off to school. This morning was very, very trying for me this morning. I was just because my son takes the school bus and anytime they're running late, you don't get a courtesy call, so you just have to take it as it is. They're late, and you have to keep calling the company, the bus company, to say, listen, you know, where's this bus at? Then they call the bus, and the bus will say, I'm 15 minutes away, 10 minutes away. But they don't feel like they should give a courtesy call to say that they're going to be running late. And I'm just, it, it's, it got me really, really upset, and I want to change my son's bus because this has been going on for a while now i'm just over it i really am i have a really bad headache it had me really really frustrated so i just was like i walked back home i didn't take the bus and also you know i was talking to my son and just explaining to him like you know zion you're 15 now and even though you may not be 100% comfortable with traveling um, to certain places, but I still need you to understand and learn how to travel. At least getting to school comfortably, because it's a comfortable thing with him. He's just like, oh, anything can happen. And I'm like, yes, I am, that's true. Anything can happen if me and you is just walking. <laughs> So just trying to get him to push past his fears and the anxiety of, you know, walking by himself. He is 15. He is autistic. And so he has a lot of, you know, anxiety when it comes to like crowds and just certain things and being up amongst a, like a, a crowd of people. And so just trying to get him to push past those things and... Because he's going to be 16. He's a big boy. He's very capable. He's not wheelchair bound. He's not bed bound. He can walk. He can talk. He can feed himself. He can cook. He can do all of those things. Wash his clothes. He's capable. He's very independent. So, you know, just have to help him a little bit on that. But the bus, oh, God, they had me. They had me. It's a day. They had me upset I was pissed this morning and I was cussing some bad words <laughs> I um I also took my braids out last night I don't know if it was the hair or what but I was accumulating like a lot of dandruff and I was like what is going on here oh, trying to open up this Maxwell box yeah, I was like, what's going on here? My scalp, it was just itchy. So I took the braids out, washed my hair. Okay. Wait, I think we gotta put some water in here. Okay. I usually I usually like to run it with water first before. I start sticking it and doing anything to it just to clean it out a bit, even though it's new, but still. And I got such a bad headache. Y'all, yeah, I have a bad headache. How this goes? Come on now. I'm pressing this because it seemed like a button to press. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that. But it's on. Maybe it has to be, but let me see. Oh. So 
where it looks like you can't just clean it out. Um, okay. Y'all. <laughs> okay, sounds like it's doing something. Okay, sound like something going on up in here. Anywho, I put two braids in. I oiled my scalp with a mango and lime lock grow, even though I'm not locking my hair, but morning moringa seed oil and manuka honey. Nourishes hair scalp, um, prevents dry scalp, strengthens and helps prevent breakage, no buildup, no greasy formula. It's really good. So that's, I only put, die, that's a little bit of coffee. Look how much I made. I need a little bit more. I oiled my scalp with that and it felt so good. It got like that tingling sensation on your scalp. But y'all, yeah, I'm just gonna try and take a moment, have me a sandwich and um, drink my coffee. And I'm gonna get back to y'all because I got to tell y'all what Miss Royalty said to her dad. About what she asked him for, Chris for, um, for her birthday. Her birthday is February 6th. Girl, listen here. Stay tuned. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> listen, my daughter got me beat for the gods, okay? She slayed a four-year-old. She slayed. Y'all see the And my nails. Hello. Anywho, it was something I was going to tell y'all pertaining to royalty. Wait, before I tell y'all that, let me tell you something. This morning, after I spoke to y'all, sat down, had my coffee, ate a little something for breakfast. I laid, I had a whole day planned of, I'm gonna do laundry, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna mop. I knocked out. I laid down like 10 something, and I didn't wake up until like 2.12. And maybe I really um needed that. My mother was like, I needed it, and I think I did. But I had such a bad headache because of what I was going through with the bus this morning with my son Zion. I was telling y'all. <sighs> that sleep, I was... Now I feel like I could run a, a marathon. But Bye. Yeah, if y'all want royalty to hook y'all up, y'all nails, makeup, whatever, beat face, glam, she's your girl. And you guys support the little, the little children. <laughs> So, but yeah, I slept really, really good. And um, I got up, I took a shower. So I didn't do no cleaning. I didn't do no laundry until after I picked Royalty up from school. And I just cleaned up a little bit. Probably I'll do my laundry tomorrow. But as I came home, Royalty said she wanted some barbecue chicken, mac and cheese, and string beans for dinner. So that is what I am making. And um, my son, he's a funny eater. He does not eat nothing that we eat, so he'll have something different. But other than that, it was a very sleepy day, and oh my God, I don't remember sleeping that good since I was um, pregnant. And yeah, I see my two braids. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, that's all. Ain't nothing else going on. Um. I'm trying to think of two books that I want to get for my son to read because reading is important. And I think my husband used to make the kids read an hour a day, which was a good thing. So after they read an hour for an hour, they then have to tell you about what they read. And it's like as they got bigger, and I'm talking about the teenagers, as they got bigger, we just was like, it's like it kind of, you just get caught up in life and you don't really do the things that you used to do. But we're about to get back on top of it. And um, so I was asking him what kind of books he think he would be interested in. And he said Godzilla or Sonic. So I got to find some little, um, some books, chapter books, either Sonic or Godzilla or probably both. 
but I'm gonna start making him read an hour a day again. Um, I do read with royalty. Um, she likes bedtime stories. <laughs> so, and if we don't read, then her father ends up telling her a story. Like he makes up a story and she falls to sleep to that. <laughs> but um, other than that, my husband will be home tomorrow because of where he works at the snow up there kind of piled up so he had to stay at work and you know health facilities all hands on deck so i've been without my husband since saturday i'm not happy i'm not too happy about that he gets on my nerves but i love him <laughs> i love him so I've been holding down the fort by myself, and I don't like that. <laughs> but Zion messing up your makeup. I know you didn't punch her. I didn't. I know you didn't punch Zion. I didn't punch her. You want to say hi to the vlog? No. Okay. I gotta respect the kids' feelings. No. You want to say hi, Miss Royalty? I need to do my own video. Come. Do you have an iPhone? You can. Say hi, beautiful. Hi. How do I? No. <laughs> they do too much, y'all. They do too much. If you know, you know. You got kids, you know. When they do too much. So, um. Yeah, so that's it. I came back from my mother's house yesterday. Um, I was not going to. She wanted me to stay another day. And my husband thought I was going to stay too. But my kids got to go to school. So. Couldn't do that. Okay. Alright y'all. I got to take out my mac and cheese. I'll be back. It's about 9 o'clock. Everybody done bathe. Is in the bed. Not sleeping, but they're in the bed. <laughs> Everybody ate. I told you I made some barbecue chicken, some mac and cheese, and some string beans. I wanted to record it, but I made the plates and I just started eating. And once I was finished, I was like, damn, I ain't even get to show y'all. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. There's a little leftover. So tomorrow I'll show y'all. I have, I spoke to my sister today. I love her so much. My sister Vicky. And we are, um, me, her, and my other good girlfriend, um, Nettie. We are supposed to go out on Thursday. So a little girls time, ladies time. Hopefully I'll try and I'm going to try and see if I can vlog it. I know my girl Nettie probably wouldn't mind <laughs> being vlogged, but I know my sister, she'd be like, no. <laughs> so I'm going to see, but I'm definitely going to try and um, vlog it, let you guys see what the ladies got going on. Anywho, right now I'm about to relax, finish watching Smothered, about these mothers. I don't know if y'all watched that, it's on TLC. About mothers obsessed with their daughters, daughters obsessed with their mothers. It is like overboard though. It's overboard, overboard, overboard. If you haven't watched, go check it out. I finished watching 90 Day. So that's about it. Um, stay tuned. I have an upcoming children's haul from Dara coming up sometime this week or next week. Yeah, so also if there's any particular videos that y'all may want to see, just let me know in the comment section and I shall deliver, <laughs> depending on what it is, but let me know and I will definitely do that for you. Finish washing my face. As you can see, I have the fresh face look. And Oh, another thing I wanted to say, I would you call it, I was telling my mother um, the other day when I was at her house that, you know, I'm getting older. And when you're getting older, you kind of want to preserve your face and kind of not so much keep it youth, youthful, 
but just a little something I should have helped gra um, age gracefully. And I know back in the days, it wasn't all these serums. It wasn't all these, oh, use this type of moisturizer. It was Vaseline our people was using on their face to grease, oil their scalp, all of that. So I do get that. And, you know, you got ponds. You got um, Vaseline. You got a couple of things that naturally that people have been using for decades. But... I want to try something with a little bit of, um, I guess it's like kind of like a sunscreen moisturizer. And um, there's actually a YouTuber that I watch that I've been watching for a while. And her skin just looks so amazing. And she always talks about this one product. And I forgot the name of the product, but I will let you know. And, um, and there's a serum also. but And I'm not a person who tries a lot of different things because... I am ultra, my skin is ultra sensitive and I be breaking out, catching hives, all types of foolishness. So I got to be very careful with the products that I do put on my face. But this, um, so whatever I do look for, it has to definitely be sensitive and gentle for skin. But, you know, other than that, yes. So it's a few things that I kind of want to go and look for. And another thing, I don't know if you guys are makeup users as far as um, e.l.f., but I'm a, I think I said it before, I mentioned it before, that e.l.f. closed all of their makeup stores in New York City. And now they put this big old Ulta Beauty. I don't know if y'all heard of it, but it's all over the place. But I want to go in there. They sell all kinds of makeup from all kinds of different brands. And, um, yeah, so stay tuned to that video also. <laughs> I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys sleep tight. I hope you guys have a good night. I hope you guys tomorrow have the day that you deserve. And, um, till your next video. <laughs>